this is uh, 12. 12. Okay, 12. Okay, here's the part. It's finished. Uh, the reused aluminum angle. Um, we had another little uh, manufacturing error. The thought was that the groove would hold the screws, but uh, I made it too big. But uh, we're going to make do and not re rebuild it. But, again. Uh, again. <laughs> okay. So anyway, uh, you won't be able to get these screws in afterwards. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in. Stainless steel, quarter 20. Um, I have nylons, but I think these will be better. Uh, when I, I have to take these all off to put it back on the lathe. But they are flush in there, which is nice. All right, now I'll come over here. I'll just show you that these will go. Now the nuts and bolts will go on the other side, but these will go into the factory slots. And I'll have a vertical adjustment. And then over here, I'll have a left and right adjustment. All right, and now we're going to go ahead and bolt the motor on. I had a little thought about which ways the wires go, and I think up would probably be best. started. There's a C-clip in there. You can see that it rotates and the hole needs to be big enough that the, when the motor spins the C-clip doesn't hit anything. Snug these up. Okay, and then I'll be putting the, um, the lower uh, drive on in the plate, and uh, we'll come back and we'll put this in the lathe. Okay, go ahead. Now these wires make a difference only in the direction. Uh, the way you'll rotate it, or ro rotate the directions of the motor, is you flip any two of the leads. It doesn't matter which ones. Uh, and then I stopped by a local store in St. Louis called Gateway Electronics. Uh, they're up on page and they've just got all kinds of amazing stuff. Uh, I highly recommend you look them up and take a look. Take a look if you're in St. Louis. It's a one of a kind store. But uh, this is a, a 20 amp, 125 volt AC switch for $2.95. I doubt I could probably get that on eBay for that price. Or Craigslist. I'm sorry, Amazon. Okay, all right, so motor test. Okay, I got my auto transformer set to 24 volts. No smoke? Good. All right, here we go. So I got this on again, the soft settings. I'm going to crank the dial up real fast, and you'll see it just slowly take off and gain speed. Now the now it's all the way high speed right now. All right, there we go. So uh, the next step is we're gonna uh, fit this in the lathe. Um, I've already mounted the head down. Um, so you don't get to see that's four bolts to fit under the rail. Uh, we're going to mount the motor up and with the, with the pulley, and we'll show you the mounting process. Um, and uh, then we'll come back and show you the lathe running. So hold on tight, we'll move over to the other to the lathe. Okay, so we're set up to install the motor. Uh, there's not a whole lot of measurements here, I just kind of rough this out by eye, so you get to see it at the same time I do, if it works. fine-tune it or something to get it working just right. Okay. Okay. 
It is one. Drop the bolt. I'll be fun getting that back in. Okay, just got these hand tight. And uh, if you come over here, we get quite a bit of adjustment. And I'll just show you here. Let's see, I got, you know, left, right, and uh, got this little snug up and down. Quite a bit of an adjustment there. So, we'll go ahead and fit the belts here. And I suspected the back of the bolts are spinning a little bit. And I did check to see if the, um, the carriage bolt would uh, hit, and it will not. I got plenty of space here. All right, now probably have to do some more fine tuning adjusting, but uh, I'm ready to do my first uh, run test now. In just a few minutes, I'll get the power over here and uh, we'll give it a shot. All right, this is our first motor test. I don't have the right wires and everything, just wire clipped together. Uh, hopefully we don't get any smoke. Clear there. Okay, here we go. All right. Here goes nothing. It is running backwards right now, in reverse. So we'll go ahead and show you, if we reverse two of these leads, uh, the direction of the motor will change. So it changes the white one with the yellow one. And you can, as I mentioned earlier, you can re reverse any two of these wires and the direction will change. Uh, did I put an amp meter on it before? I don't have one now. That would probably be a good test to have an amp meter. Let me go ahead and grab that real quick. Okay, so two tests here. Uh, drawing 0 0.03 amp, 0 0.04 amp at no load. Uh, that's probably just running this here. Now it should be right uh, rotating in uh, the forward direction now. I don't know, I think I read it was counterclockwise, but I'm sure it depends on what side you're looking at it. Okay, so we want to watch the low draw, the amp draw on it now. Um, don't want to go over 10 right now. I doubt we'll even get that high, but here we go. Point eight amps. Test me to see if my wires are getting warm. Four amps. Now I've only got a ten amp power supply here. Now I'm going to give it a little load. to think of that. I don't have my 25 amp power supply. Alright, I also want to go ahead and test the high speed here right now. 
high speed gear. Sorry, low speed. Let me see this gear while I'm in here a little bit. Five amps. I could not stall this if I wanted to. I can't bring the speed down. You can see that it's torquey. So there we go with our motor test. Uh, I only have the uh, 10 amp. Um, I only have the 10 amp uh, auto transformer right now, um, and a little concerned about the speed, the top speed, and a little bit about the torque. Uh, but uh, we're going to continue on and see what happens. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, look for, look to the next episode.